Hello everyone, welcome to the Street Crime UK YouTube channel. Thank you for joining us. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more exciting true crime content. Today we look at a mum of two who has told a jury of the moment she struck out at her lover during a drunken fight at her Margate home. Janice Carter, 28, claimed that she had suffered years of physical and verbal abuse by her 30-year-old ex-husband, Kevin Carter. He was found dead at the flat in Swin Road just hours after being released from a prison sentence for driving offences. Canterbury Crown Court heard how his body had been discovered with 21 knife wounds. The couple were still together despite divorcing two years earlier and a jury was read Mr. Carter's love letters penned from his cell just days before his death, in which he said he wanted to remarry and have more children. But Janice, who denies murder, told the court that she lived in fear of the man she claimed had regularly beaten her. Despite the beatings, she told the jury that she frequently forgave him after he apologised, because I loved him so much. In October last year, Mr. Carter had been released early from a 180 day sentence on condition that he was electronically tagged, but when security officials arrived to fit the monitoring device, the pair, who had been drinking beer during the afternoon, began arguing about where it was to be placed inside the flat. That argument led a fight, which resulted in Mr. Carter dying from stab wounds. Janice Carter had told the court how she had met her lover in Margate after his prison release, and the two went for a drink in the pub. When we got back, we kissed and cuddled, and we were still drinking, she said. She claimed that Mr. Carter got the hump after making a phone call to his son when a neighbour arrived to complain about the loud music. They invited him in to stay for a drink. But when her ex-husband left the room, she persuaded the neighbour to take a large glass of Southern Comfort and tip it down the drain. She claimed that when Mr. Carter discovered the drink missing, it made him very angry, and after the neighbour left, she claimed that she was attacked. He began slapping me with the palm of his hand across my head and from side to side. He was screaming in my face. I was scared. I was trying to calm him down. We were in the kitchen, and he grabbed my hair, and I was holding his arms. I just reached behind me and grabbed a knife. I just swung the knife and stabbed him. I lashed out. I can't remember how many times. I just wanted him to stop pulling my hair. When he let go, I dropped the knife and ran out of the door. The court heard how Miss Carter then went to the home of her sister, Michelle Cheney, in Zion Place, and told her, I've killed him. I've stabbed him. I think he's dead. Her brother-in-law went to the flat and found Mr. Carter lying on the kitchen floor with a knife nearby. A pathologist discovered some of the knife wounds had penetrated his heart and lung and severed an artery. Miss Carter, 28, wept as she was told that she'll serve at least 12 years before she's eligible for parole. She plunged a kitchen knife through the heart of her 30-year-old lover, Kevin Carter, during a frenzied attack at their home. Blonde-haired Carter, who admitted stabbing her ex-husband in self-defense, denied murder, but knifed him 24 times after a reunion between the couple turned sour during an argument. Passing sentence, Judge Adele Williams told her, It started out as a defense, but turned into an attack. The pair had a long history of alcohol-fueled domestic violence. Although they had divorced three years before the murder, they had recently got back together. Christopher May, prosecuting, had told how Mr. Carter, who had been serving a 180-day sentence for motoring offences, had been looking forward to his early release last October. There were, however, some sources of tension between the two of them in the run-up to his release from prison, he said. One of these concerned the arrangements for the terms of his release. The two had been drinking beer and spirits during the evening and playing loud music at their flat in Swen Road, Margate the court was told. But when officials from G4S arrived to install an electronic monitoring device inside the flat, which was part of the conditions of the prison release, the couple fell out. Mr. May said that the tagging equipment was eventually installed in the bedroom and Janice Carter was described as not happy about it, though she was joking and hugging the G4S employees. A neighbour who had been drinking with the couple earlier returned to his flat but could hear the couple shouting. Mr. May said that he was able to make out some of the swear words. He could also hear Janice's voice getting louder and it sounded like there was a full-blown argument between the two. Between 8pm and 8.20pm, the neighbour heard three hollow thumps and Mr. Carter shouting. There was another hollow thump after that and there was no more shouting, Mr. May said. After 10 minutes, he heard an internal door slam, and after that, just the sound of music. At 9pm, the music suddenly went off. The prosecutor added that Miss Carter had gone to the home of her sister, Michelle Sheeney, in Zion Place, and told her, I've killed him, I've stabbed him, and I think he's dead. Her brother-in-law went to the flat and found Mr. Carter lying on the kitchen floor with a knife nearby his side. Miss Carter told her sister, I didn't mean it. I, I, I didn't mean to do it. I never hurt anyone. Michelle, I said to Kevin, please wake up. Please wake up, but he just he just wouldn't wake up. What do you think about Miss Carter's story? Do you think it was really defense after 21 stab wounds, even one through the heart? Thanks for joining us today. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a like and a share, and leave any thoughts or suggestions you have in the comments section. We love to read through them all. And if you're new but enjoy UK true crime content, then subscribe to see when our newest video releases. And as always, stay safe.